Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here back with another Madden 21 video. In today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding the Tampa Bay Buccaneers once again. I made a video on this earlier in the year with Leonard Fournette as their halfback. He's going to be in this video as well, as well as Antonio Brown. And I feel like on the field, he is an amazing player. Off the field, nobody wants to see your disgusting feet, dude. That was disgusting, that foot pick he sent out. I don't know what's up with Antonio Clown, but either way, boys, it is time to jump into this rebuild. And here we are with the overlook of the team. And just like the last rebuild, it looks the same. But I had to input Antonio Clown here, Antonio Brown, into the game. I made an 84 overall. He was an 88 overall in Madden 20 as a free agent. He had star development, but I gave him super star development. And the reason that is because whenever he's on the field, he's an absolutely amazing player. But when he's off the field, it's not that great. But Rob Gronkowski is only an 81 overall. So I'm going to start OJ Howard over Rob Gronkowski because Rob Gronkowski is just going to regress, but I'm still not going to trade him though. But defensively, we do look great, especially in this linebacking core. Very impressed. And we have young, very young secondary, I would say, with Sean Murphy, uh, Sean Murphy Bunting, Jamel Dean, and Carlton Davis, stuff like that. But apart from that, boys, it is time to jump into the trades. And for our first trade, we're trading Ndamukong Sanu and JPP for a first and a fifth from the Cincinnati Bengals. And next, we're trading our left tackle, Donovan Smith, Cameron Brait, and our left end for Jonathan Allen, who I'm going to move to defensive end and a third round pick. And now this is what the team looks like after the trades. And it doesn't look too bad. Offense kind of looks the same. I mean, O-line has kind of like left a little bit, but it's okay. D-line has improved a little bit. I thought that was a pretty good trade with Washington. But apart from that, everything else here looks pretty good to me. So other than that, guys, it is time to jump into the midseason mark. Well, here we are at the midseason mark, coming off a loss to the Giants as we are 4-4 four and four at the midseason mark. And we are top the division division above the Atlanta Falcons so that's kind of interesting and uh we have players to resign such as Levante David five-star captain 93 overall superstar development I will want to keep him on the team because the regression has slightly been fixed this year it's still kind of unbalanced but at least it's fixed a little bit but Chris Godwin is here and he's gonna want a big contract he's definitely worth it he'll probably even get to a 99 overall in this rebuild but he stays with the team Shaq Bear is here I do want to keep him on the team another huge contract we're just burning through all this money that's why we had to make those trades Rob Gronkowski I I just can't resign Rob Gronkowski he's too low of an overall and I don't think I don't think we need him with OJ Howard. Leonard Fournette's here though, and I would like to keep him on the team. And he re doesn't resign, but we will get him at the end of the year, so don't worry about it. And I feel like halfback, you kind of have to have like a really good overall, not a good development trait for them to be successful. But either way, apart from that, guys, it is time to jump into the playoffs. And here we are in the playoffs coming off a loss to the Atlanta Falcons as we actually missed the playoffs, finishing at 8-8, eight and eight, which is very disappointing. If we had won that game versus the Falcons, we would have made the playoffs. But Tom Brady had a pretty good year, 7th best offensively and 24th be defensively, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Tom Brady, 4,400 yards, 30 TDs, 17 interceptions. Leonard Ford net, 9 touchdowns, almost 1,000 yards. Chris Godwin and Mike Evans, both over a 1,000-yard season. That's great. And defensively, Devin White with the most tackles on the team. Most tackles for a loss goes to 10 for Vita Vea. Most sacks, 7 for Shaq Barrett. And most interceptions, 4 for Devin White. And safeties is 0. And defensive touchdowns is 0. So apart from that, boys, it is time to jump into the offseason. Now, here we are in the offseason as the Chicago Bears lose to the Cleveland Browns in Super Bowl 55, which is interesting. Leonard Fournette, 81 overall superstar development. I feel like he really didn't have a good season, but just because his development is good, I am going to reassign him, and he does stay with the team. I don't think he'll get his stats up just because he's a low overall. I feel like that's how it is with all halfbacks. But Antonio Clown is here, and he did regress two overalls, and it's just... It's just not realistic to sign someone in Madden that's regressing that hard. Maybe I can get him cheaper in free agency. If I can do that, I will re-sign him. But for now, I'm just going to have to let him go on that one-year deal. So apart from that, boys, we're going to look into the team and see what we have. Offensively, all the dev traits look the same. And defensively, it looks like this outside linebacker, Anthony Nelson, I don't know who you are, has start development now. And Sean Murphy Bunting is still start development 
and apart from that everything looks the same so apart from that guys it is time to jump into free agency and here we are after free agency as offensively we didn't really do too much as we picked up antonio clown back who has evasive as a superstar development but he's on a cheaper cheaper deal now so it's way better to keep him like that so we did keep the star of this video back and we got will lutz as our kicker so not huge moves in free agency but it's time to get into the draft and here we are on the draft picking up a defensive back 78 overall normal development i'll probably move carlton davis up to strong safety just because we are picking up this guy now and now we're picking up a defensive end, Chris McCoy, 74 overall, normal development. I'm going to have him on the other side of the edge to replace Nadamakin Sanu. And now we're picking up a QB who I thought was going to have a good development trait. He probably won't do anything on this team, but 71 overall, normal development. And this is what the team looks like after the draft. As the, the second street quarterback, I'm not going to start because we're in like a win now situation. That would be like starting Jordan Love over Aaron Rodgers. That just doesn't make sense. And Carlton Davis is here. So I am going to move him to strong safety off camera. So apart from that, boys, it is time to jump into the midseason mark. Now, here we are at the midseason mark coming off a loss to the Buffalo Bills as we are on a bye week. And we are third in the division behind the Saints and the Panthers. And we have players who resign such as Tom Brady. And he went from an 89 overall to an 83 overall. And I know he's going to regress even harder at the end of the season. And I literally got QB retirement influence upgraded so that way he wouldn't retire this season. But still, I don't think he's going to do that great. But Carlton Davis, our strong safety here, I am going to resign him as he does stay with the team. Jonathan Allen, I need back as well. And he's going to want a huge contract. And he wants more salary. I just gave more salary, but I guess he wants more. Ryan Jensen's going to be pretty expensive, but I would like him back. I don't think he's going to drop below a 75 overall, so I think I will want to keep him. And he wants more of a bonus. OJ Howard is here, and since I let go Rob Gronkowski, I am going to keep OJ Howard. And if I'm breathing pretty hard right now, I'm sorry. I don't know what's up. I'm just talking really, really fast. I'm just trying to do my best to keep up. So apart from that, boys, it is time to jump into the playoffs. And here we are in the playoffs coming off a win to the division rivals. The Saints says we are 9-7 at the top of the division here to face the Packers in the wild card. And uh, Tom Brady had actually had a pretty good year. 21st best offense, 22nd best defense. Not a good team, really. 4,000 yards, 37 TDs, 17 interceptions. Leonard Fournette, 7 TDs and not even 900 yards receiving-wise. Mike Evans, over 1,000 yards, 10 TDs. And Antonio Clown with 10 TDs as well. Defensively, Sean Murphy bunting with the most tackles on the team. Most tackles for a loss goes to 12 for Chris McCoy, the rookie. Sacks, 14 for Shaq Barrett. Interceptions, 2 for Devin White. And most safeties is one for Jonathan Allen and defensive touchdowns is zero so overall pretty good stats I don't know why we were not even we were below middle of the road we were below average for a team I mean I guess that explains our record but the stats didn't really look like that but looking into it can we win this we do not win the wild card against the Packers so that's going to push us to the offseason and in the offseason it looks like the Miami Dolphins beat the Chicago Bears Nick Foles in the Super Bowl that is very interesting uh, I guess two were really clutched up, or Ryan Fitzmagic did. But Tom Brady now went from an 83 to a 76, 77 with morale. There's just no point in re-signing him. Jonathan Allen is here, and I will re-sign him. He is still a huge contract. For an 82 overall, he definitely doesn't deserve this, but I'm still going to give it to him anyways. Ryan Jensen is here. I still would like him back, as he didn't even regress at all. So I would like him back, and he does resign with the team. And O.J. Howard, I obviously want him back as well. He just wants an improved bonus, and I will give that to him. And he does resign with the team. So that is very, very good news. And everyone else here, I do not have an interest for. So I will look into the team. And who do we have a dev up for on the offense? Now, offensively, like again, we look the exact same. Defensively, uh... Looks like Shaq Barrett has Superstar X-Factor with Selfless, Strip Specialist, and B-O-G-O. -O. And Carlton Davis now has super, just Star Development, not Superstar. And our rookie went from Normal to Star Development, so that's pretty good. He probably won a Rookie of the Year. And apart from that, everything here looks good. So sadly, Tom Brady couldn't even really win a playoff game with the Buccaneers. But this is what the team looks like after free agency as we get Superstar Development Baker Mayfield, hopefully it will be good in simulation because he absolutely sucks in real life. Second most interceptions in the NFL last year. Don't tell me, oh, he's better than Lamar because Lamar's a running back. Shut up. I don't know what's up with my right guard, but he's got a cool mustache. Defensively, 
everyone here. I also got Marlon Humphrey in free agency with shut down short route KO and deep route KO. So this defense is absolutely stacked. Nothing should be getting past it. And apart from that, it is time to jump into the draft. Now, here we are in the draft as we're picking up a wide receiver because that was just the best player available. I need linemen, but it wasn't really a strong lineman class, so this is what I got. And after the draft, we ended up picking up like a late round right guard, but there wasn't really good linemen in that class. It was a really bad class for linemen, so we did pick up like a slot receiver. It doesn't really matter, and defensively, we looked the exact same. That was a really bad draft. So apart from that, boys, it is time to jump into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark coming off a win to the San Francisco 49ers as we are three and four, third in the division as the Panthers and Saints lead. And OJ Howard has a breakout challenge, and I will do that off camera. So he's probably going to have star development next time you guys see him. Well, superstar development. My bad. That's what I should be saying. Keep mixing up star and superstar. I don't know why. But Vita Vea is here, and he wants a massive contract. I mean, for his overall... I guess it would be worth it for his development trait. Not really, but we re-sign him. Jamel Dean is here, and we are getting low on cap room. This is really, really bad, especially since Baker Mayfield. I had to re I had to sign Baker Mayfield, and that was kind of a big contract, but I also kind of lowballed him, and he signed. I don't know how. If he didn't sign on that low ball, we wouldn't be able to keep any of these players. But still, Sean Murphy bunting, I might just have to tag him. I might have to tag most of these players. Well, I have to try try the tag, but apart from that, boys, it is time to get to the playoffs. And Baker Mayfield does not lead us to the promised land, coming off a win to the Eagles. But we finished six and ten. God, Baker Mayfield sucks. He actually didn't even have a bad season. Twenty second best offense and twenty. How how do we have a less than average team? This team is good. How? Mike Evans over a thousand yards. OJ Howard over a thousand yards. Our defense is stacked. How is this team not performing? Jamel Dean with the most tackles. Tackles for a loss. 20 for Shaq Barrett. Sacks. 13 and a half for Vita Vea. Interceptions. Three for Levante David. How is this team only ranked 20th? Safeties. One and defensive touchdowns is zero. That makes no sense. But other than that, boys, let's get into the offseason. Here we are in the offseason as the Baltimore Ravens beat the New York Giants in the Super Bowl. So that was an interesting matchup. But Jamel Dean is here and he has superstar development. So we definitely need him back. And will he resign? He does resign. So I don't think we're going to be able to sign anyone else. And of course, Anthony Nelson, the outside linebacker, now has superstar development. But he's only a 76 overall. So I guess it may not be a huge loss because we don't even have any money to resign anybody. So that sucks like a lot. But this is what the team looks like as OJ Howard has superstar development from that breakout challenge. And he also had over a thousand yard season. So he should have had superstar X Factor in my opinion. But the CPU is dumb. Vita Vea has superstar development. And his abilities are secure tackler and defensive rally. And this guy here, Anthony Nelson, only 76 overall. But he did get superstar development with unfakeable. So it looks like we're going to be losing Sean Murphy, Bunting, and Jamil Dean had unfakeable and bench press as his abilities. But some big losses, but it's time to get into free agency. And here we are in free agency, and obviously, boys, we don't have any money to spend. So let's jump into the draft. And here we are in the draft picking up a center who I'm going to move to right guard. 75 overall, hidden development. Pretty good pickup in my opinion. Now we're picking up a left tackle in the later round. 71 overall, normal development. He's an okay pick, nothing insane. But this is what the team looks like after the draft. Hopefully Baker Mayfield can perform to what I want him to be. But this is the fourth and final season, I do believe. I think so. I Yeah, whatever. I'm pretty sure it's the fourth and final season. So let's jump into the midseason mark. Now, here we are at the midseason mark coming off a loss to the Texans as we are here to play the Carolina Panthers as we are 5-2, second in the division behind the Carolina Panthers. So I guess this game was the division. And offensively, well, all the players that we have to sign, we don't need to sign because this is the final season. Like every final season, I don't need to re-sign them. So let's get into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs with a first round bye as we're coming off a loss to the Falcons as we finish 13-3. and three. Baker Mayfield clutch up, second in passing yards, second in passing touchdowns. That's MVP. Oh, Justin Herbert wins MVP and Baker Mayfield in second. Never mind, Baker Mayfield elite, baby. Third best offense and 
fifth best defense finally of the year i'm looking for with this amazing team 4600 yards 41 tds six interceptions leonard fournette nine touchdowns 1100 yards chris godwin over a thousand yards mike evans with 10 tds great season devin white with the most tackles on the team most tackles for a loss 17 for vita vea 10 sacks for shaq barrett three interceptions for devin white and safeties is one for vita vea and defensive touchdowns is zero but still, guys, this is finally the season that I was looking for for this team. But I'm wondering who we are going to be playing in the divisional round. And that team will be the Washington football team. God, that's an awful name. I'm going to simulate to the conference championship to see if we can go to it. And we do, beating the Washington football team 31-14 to as we are here to play the 11-5 and division rival Saints for the contest to go to the Super Bowl. Let's not let them make it, boys. And here we are against the Saints as it is 17-17 in the fourth quarter. Three minutes left, 24-17, obviously. Red zone alert, third down alert, and the game is on the line. Can we stop them? We can. But I'm going to actually have to hop in here to make sure we win. And we are actually in overtime. It's first and 10, so I'm going to fake this field goal. And if we get this touchdown, the game's over. And if we don't, I can just play second down. It's not that big of a deal. We're iced. Fake field goal. OJ Howard's wide open. They were rushing it too much. That's going to be a touchdown. Overtime. Big brain play. If I if it was like an incomplete pass, it would just go to second down, boys. So you just got a big brain play that. You, get, you just got a big brain play, boys. So let's jump into the Super Bowl. And here we are in the Super Bowl hitter face, these 7-9 and nine Browns. God, that's got to be awkward for Baker Mayfield. And uh, this is what the team looks like as Baker Mayfield has Superstar X-Factor with Truz. And looking into it, yeah, he did get Superstar X-Factor from the CPU. And he has Quick Draw, Spin Cycle, Red Zone, Deadeye, and Comeback as his abilities. And Chris Godwin got a Superstar X-Factor with Ankle Breaker, Slotomatic, and Second Wind. And it looks like offensively, actually, our right guard had superstar development, which was very interesting, with Polar Elite and Nasty Streak as his abilities. So that is pretty cool. And defensively, it looks like our outside linebacker, our rookie outside linebacker, got star dev. So that is cool. And everyone else here looks the same. So apart from that, boys, I am very, very excited for the Super Bowl matchup against the 7-9 and nine Browns. They shouldn't deserve to be here, but let's get into it. And against the 7-9 and nine Browns, it looks like Josh Rosen is their QB, but it's 31-13 to 13 as we continue to pound them into the ground. 38-20 to 20 as they're slightly making a comeback, but I think it's too little too late. 38-20 to 20 is your final score against the Cleveland Browns. And that will be it. And yeah, I think that's Josh Rosen. I can tell by his nose. It looks weird. But still, let's get into the MVP. And your Super Bowl MVP is Baker Mayfield, 381 yards, 4 TDs, 1 interception, 72.1% completion rate. And that will be it for this episode. And Josh Rosen was their QB, so I guess we switched QBs because Josh Rosen was a third string QB on the Buccaneers, I believe, or the second string. Either way, that's going to be it. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed because I know I did. This was a very, very fun rebuild, especially adding Baker Mayfield from free agency. That was a nice twist that I did put on it, and I hope you guys really did enjoy it, especially with Antonio Clown. He did retire in the third year, so he didn't actually win a Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which is kind of funny. Um, but either way, guys, that is once again going to do it. Make sure you comment down below which re rebuild you want me to do next, and I'll see you guys in the next one.